Good morning, South Florida. Our top stories in just a moment, but first a quick check on our weekend forecast. We're in for possible record-breaking heat. Seven's Vivian Gonzalez is here with the details. Good morning, Vivian. Seven on the scene of a police-involved shooting late last night. A massive manhunt in Northwest Miami-Dade, landing two robbery suspects behind bars and a third in the hospital. The search is on for a shooter behind a teen tragedy in Miami. 17-year-old Alexis Ray was killed by a stray bullet last night. She was leaving a friend's house when someone in an SUV opened fire along Northwest 64th Street and 2nd Avenue in Little Haiti. Well, it's something we don't see every day, an explosive exchange on the House floor, things getting heated between a Democrat and a Republican after a bill to provide billions in medical funding to treat 9-11 rescue workers was shut down. I will not yield to the gentleman, and the gentleman will observe regular order. Wow, that was Representative Anthony Weiner, a Democrat from Queens, New York. He was angry after many Republicans, including New York Congressman Peter King from Long Island, voted against the bill. A heated argument leading to a deadly encounter in Northwest Miami-Dade. A 43-year-old man was shot and killed along 164th Street and 117th Avenue yesterday morning. The search is on this morning for the driver who hit a pedestrian and just kept going. The accident last night along Southwest 197th Street and Chrome Avenue. Still to come this morning from the Newsplex. A robber holds up a South Florida gas station, but he's not the only one with a gun. Iraqis taking an historic step with a democratic election. The election shaping Iraq's next parliament and choice of prime minister, but with a cost. Attacks on polling stations killing more than 30 people. A cash crime caught on camera. Two armed men barging into a North Miami bank. One pointed a gun at a teller and demanded cash. These pictures very clear of the two suspects. Miami trying to win its third game in a row and keep their playoff hopes alive. Seven's Donovan Campbell has reaction to yesterday's tough loss and it was tough. Wow. The Ranger has only been on the job for five months. He says the attack was the best learning experience for him to avoid a situation like that again. I tell you. Unbelievable. Amazing. And a home up in flames as a woman scrambles to safely get herself and her animals out. Smoke seeping out of the home along Northwest 73rd Street and 110th Avenue in Doral. The Iranian government has announced a new plan to enhance its nuclear program by building 10 uranium enrichment facilities. The White House has come out against the move, saying Iran is isolating itself from the rest of the world and will face consequences for its actions. King James, D. Wade, and Chris Bosh bringing lots of star power to the Magic City, and it has many people seeing green. They see this dream team as a big boost to the local economy. Seven's Diane Fernandez has the details on the dollars. Good morning, South Florida. All those stories in just a moment. But first, a quick check on our weekend forecast. Seven's Julie Derda is here with all the details. Good morning, J.D. Another arrest made in the murder of a South Florida hotel heir. 25-year-old Joel Gonzalez questioned by federal authorities. The FBI says he is one of three people who killed Ben Novak Jr. And off the satellites, tragedy on the water after Coast Guard divers locate the bodies of two tourists in the Delaware River. The two people missing since a barge collided with a tour boat Wednesday near Philadelphia. And last night, those candles shed light on a dark reality. The beloved little boy is nowhere to be found. And still to come on Today in Florida, the latest on cleanup efforts in the Gulf, why the situation could get worse before it gets better. According to LeBron, Heat fans can expect not one, not two, or three. I counted seven championships for years to come. And now for a quick check on the forecast. Meteorologist Julie Derda in the Weather Center with the hot details. How you doing, Julie?
I said to him, you could have fought for your job and you probably would have won. Why didn't you? He told me that when he thought about it, he decided to leave gracefully. I'm live in downtown Miami. I'm Andre Hepkins, 7 News Night Team, and Happy New Year to all of you guys there in the studio and behind the scenes and all the people at home watching. Two guys with guns ran into the store, ordered the clerk to the ground, beat him up with their guns, forced him to open up this cash register, and the crime was caught on camera. We found out that a 15-year-old student at Deerfield Beach High School is accused of viciously attacking a 14-year-old student here at Deerfield Beach Middle School. There is a massive manhunt going on here on the ground here in Little Haiti. Right now, you're looking at canine units. 